All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below in the description so that you can follow along. Here we are in the QBO gym and the QBO gym is a place where we have numerous hands-on exercises that simulate real life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. We come out with new exercises each month and break it down for you into four different sections. Today we are going to be finishing up the March year one cool down section. At the top here is an animated video to give you a synopsis of what is going on in Craig's world this month. He is our fictitious business owner. Further down is an interactive pre-assessment quiz. Below that are the exercises in this section. And at the bottom here is an optional area where after you have completed all of the exercises in this section, we do have some sample posts that you are welcome to use on your LinkedIn to share with everybody what you have learned so far. So let's dive right into today's exercise where we're going to practice running Craig's reports. Go ahead and click on that link to have the exercise pulled up. I have it over here on the right hand side. So let's read through our scenario and see what we're going to do today. After you have reconciled your bank statements, it's time to run reports. You'll create a P&L or profit and loss and balance sheet for Craig. And he has also requested two reports for his outstanding invoices. One report should show who has out or open invoices as well as how old they are. The other should just be a report of anyone with invoices older than 30 days. So you will need to be in the sample company to do this exercise. If you are not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link below in the description. I have the sample company pulled up here on the left side of my screen. This is the dashboard. And uh, once you sign in, this is what it will look like. So let's go ahead and dive right into our exercise for today. So we'll start with creating the P&L or profit and loss report for Craig. Note that your numbers may be a little bit different depending on which exercises you completed prior to running the report. So if you are in a brand new session of the sample company, your numbers will match what I have. But just know if you've been doing some of the other exercises um, in this section um, or, or previous sections uh, for the March issue, um, your numbers may be a little bit different and that's okay. The purpose is really to make sure that you understand how to run these reports um, and, the and understanding the type of reports um, that Craig is needing. So we need to get to the report center. So we're going to click on reports that is over here on the left navigation bar. Click on that. And then we are going to click on profit and loss. That is in the favorites right here. Go ahead and select profit and loss and it will be run for you. Now, in a real life scenario, you would run the reports for last month, but because the sample company is continuously changing their dates, uh, running last month will just give different information depending on what day you run it. So let's just make it easier and just select it as all dates. So in the report period field, select all dates. So if you scroll back up to the top here, here is that report period. Currently it says this year to date. Let's click on that and then select all dates. And now we want to, uh, we need to run the report again. So let's click on run report that is right here. And now that report has been run for us. It's showing us all of the income accounts at the top and then all of the expense accounts at the bottom here. So at this point, you could choose to download it as a PDF, print it or email it to Craig, and you would be able to do it over here. So email, print, and then you can export it if you click that down arrow to either an Excel or PDF. If you wanna do this on your own time just to see how it looks when you export it um, or print it, then uh, definitely um, give it a try and see and see what it looks like. But let's get back to the report center. So we're going to click on back to report list that is on the top left corner here. Go ahead and click on that. And we are back in the report center. Next, we will create a balance sheet so that Craig can see the totals for his accounts. Again, your numbers may be a little bit different when we are running these reports, depending on when you um, what you have completed prior to running this report. So um, we're going to click on balance sheets. So click on that right here. 
And this balance sheet is showing as of today, you can see all of the assets accounts and then the liability and equity um, on the bottom half of this. We're gonna show it for all dates. So in the report period field, let's go ahead and select all dates. Once again, click on that down arrow to expand it, click on all dates, and then we're going to run the report one more time. And all of the information here for the balance sheet is showing. Now, once again, from here, you could choose to email this, print it, or export it into a PDF and uh, send the report to Craig. So that is how you would run the balance sheet. We need to run a couple more reports. So let's go back to the report center by clicking on back to report list on the top left corner there. Go ahead and click on that. Now Craig has asked for a report of who has open invoices as well as how old they are. This is a standard report called Accounts Receivable Aging Summary and is marked as one of the favorites in the sample company. So we're going to click on Accounts Receivable Aging Summary, which is right here. Again, this is in the favorites section. And this is showing all of the current clients who have outstanding invoices, how much the invoices are for and how old they are. Remember, your numbers may be a little bit different depending on when you are doing this, um, if it's in the same session of the sample company as previous exercises or not. But this at least gives you an understanding of all of your customers. You can see um, what is currently, and then um, these are the ages. So one to 30 days, 31 to 60, 61 to 90, and over 91 days do. So uh, you can always, if you wanted to, you could always click into these particular ones to get more, e you know, get more of a detailed um, list and understanding of what makes up these numbers here. But um, that is all we're gonna be doing with this uh, aging summary. Once again, you could email, print, or export it for Craig. We have one more to run, so let's go ahead and click on the back to report list to get to that report center one more time. So go ahead and click on that. And finally, Craig would like to see a report just showing invoices older than 30 days. So we want to scroll down to the who owes you section, then click on collections report. So right now we're in the favorites. Here's business overview. Scroll down to the third section, which is the who owes you. And look, there's that accounts receivable aging summary that was in the favorites. It's also in this section we are going to click on collections report. So click onto that and it will automatically be run for you. You can see um, the person's, uh, the customer's name, their information, um, and then uh, all the invoices uh, related to that pers particular, per particular person and it's past due. But as you can see, this shows anyone that is overdue um, at any age. You see 18 past due, 44 days past due, five past due, but we only wanna see those that are older than 30 days per Craig's request. So we need to customize this report just a little bit. To do so, we're going to click on customize. So if you scroll back to the top here, here is customize. You'll get this pop out window right here we're going to click on aging to reveal the options. So click on that down arrow right here. And then in a minimum days past due field, we want to type 30. And this will show us now everybody that has at least 30 days, um, it is 30 days past due. So go ahead and click on the green run report on the bottom right corner of the screen. And here you will see that this shows only those invoices that are older than 30 days. Remember, yours may be a little bit different depending on um, if you did other things in the sample company prior to doing this exercise. But you can see very detailed um, all the invoices associated with each person. Again, you could click on the invoice number to get the invoice pulled up if you need more information um, if, you know, for whatever reason. Um, but again, once, once you have run this report, you could uh, choose to email, print, or uh, download this to a PDF or Excel file um, to send it to Craig. And that is it. That is how you would run reports. And if you have any questions or want to know more about the QVO Gym, just click on the link below in the description. 
We have finished the March issue of the QBO Gym. Congratulations, you did a great job. Keep on practicing and honing in on those skills and be on the lookout for our April issue. And I will see you then.